Welcome Nugget to your first lesson in the F-18 Hornet. In this lesson you will learn how to apply ground power to the Hornet. At the end of this lesson you will have the knowledge to start ground power to allow the operation of the Hornet's systems without the need to start the engines. First, contact the ground crew via the comms menu. Default binding is backslash key. Select ground electric power and select on. Chief, turn on the ground power. Once the crew chief tells you the ground power is connected, then you can continue. Ground power is now on. The switches you will need to configure are on the left console in front of the throttle. First, you will need to reset the external power switch by holding the switch forward to reset and release. This will apply ground power to the jet. The next thing you will need to do is set your ground power switches to the appropriate settings to apply power to the systems that you will need to use. These switches are solenoid switches and must be held a few seconds before they will remain on. You will need to set 1 to be on, 2 to be on, 3 to be on, and 4 to be on. Flight controls! Flight controls! At this point, power is applied to the jet so you can run most systems in the Hornet file on the ground without engine power. At this point you can also turn on your DDI's as well as your AMPCD. If you choose to you can also start your INS alignment by switching your INS switch to CV or ground whichever is appropriate to your situation. And then box standard heading or stored heading. The information that you have learned in this lesson, you will be able to operate the systems on the Hornet without the need of starting the engines. Uh, this is a good tool to use when learning the systems that you will need to utilize during the startup procedure. <laughs>